Hello friends, welcome to Hongo theme video tutorials. In this video I will show you how to use any ready header, or build your custom header using Hongo section builder, and use it in your website. If you have imported any Hongo demo then all section builder items must be available here, under section builder, all sections. But if you have not imported any demo yet then you can go to appearance, theme setup, import demo. And here click individual import button under the demo which you want to use. Under section builder, tick mark select all checkbox, and click import selected items button to import ready headers, mini headers, footers, mega menus, etc. Now go back to section builder, select header in this drop down, and click filter button to view all ready headers. You can edit your desired header or create a new header using WP Bakery page builder same way like you create, or edit a page. Let me create a new section, add header title here, test header. At bottom under Hongo section builder settings, you can do various settings for this header. Let me define section type which is header in my case. Then sticky type, here I can select my header sticky behavior. Sticky on up scroll, sticky on down scroll and non sticky. Then I can do color and size related settings for my header. Content color and size for my header. Sticky content color and size for sticky or scold version header. Sub menu color and size. Sub menu heading color and size. Mobile menu color. Here you can define the breakpoint in pixels. Default breakpoint is 991 pixels, so website will display toggle menu in the devices of width 991px or lower. Now go back to top, and switch to WP Bakery backend editing mode. Please note that you cannot use frontend editor, and preview the header as this is not an actual page or post. Now click add element button, and in the pop-up it will display the short codes which can be used to build your header. Let me add header logo, here you can upload your standard and retina logo as well as logo images for sticky or scrolled header version. If you do not upload logo images here then it will be taken automatically from appearance, customize, logo and Fivicon. Now you can adjust number of columns. So let me add two columns. Now in right side column add navigation menu, and select main menu which is generated from appearance, menus and do other settings as and if needed. If I want to add search icon, and mini cart icons, then let me add widgetized sidebars and select search sidebar. Add another wide atized sidebars. And select mini card sidebar. Now publish this test header. I need to assign this header and customize panel to make it visible in my website. So let me go to appearance, customize, header and footer. Header. Under header section, let me select test header. My test header is not visible in this home page because home page is using different header, and that is assigned in home page at page level. So let me go to any standard post. And I can see my test header here but it is not styled properly. Let me go back to test header. First of all let me make my row full width by editing row short code and select stretch row and content. Let me add some top padding of 20 pixels in this row. All these items are coming as stack view instead of in one line. So let me open navigation menu shortcode. 
and under Style tab, select Inline Block and Display Property. Let me do that same change another two widgetized sidebars also. And let me change column shortcode, and select right alignment for this column content, and update the header. Now go back to customize panel, switch off the header. And switch on it again to have the updated header visible. So my test header is visible now with logo. Navigation menu, search icon and mini cart. Header settings can be done differently for standard pages, post single, post archive, default posts or blog home, product single, and product archive or shop page. In each section you can either switch on general header to take over all header settings done here in general section, or switch off general header to do different settings for that specific section. As an example post single have general header switched on, and hence it is showing test header but let me switch off general header, and let me select center logo header. And now it is showing the assigned center logo header and post page. So this is how header can be created in Hongo section builder, and assigned to your website pages. You can also create mini header and top header part in Hongo section builder same way as we have created header. And then here you can assign mini header in this area. And here you can assign header top section. Let me show you one demo which have top header and main header. This is header top section and this one is the main header section. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other queries then please feel free to contact us via our support system. Thank you for watching.